This video will show you how to copy content from a course you taught previously into a current course that you're teaching this year. So from your landing page, go to your school homepage. On your school homepage, in your My Courses widget, the first thing to do is look for the course that you taught the previous year. So if it's a course you still have pinned, you'll find it in the My Courses widget, or you might have to search for it using the course picker at the top. So for me, I want to go to this previous course that I taught. So this is the old course that has the content that you would like to copy. In this course, you're going to go to the My Classes icon, hit the drop down and click on Edit Course. In the Edit Course area, you're going to Course Offering Information. And in Course Offering Information, you're going to scroll down and you're going to copy the Course Offering Code. So just highlight that, whoops, highlight this and copy that. And then you're going to cancel that. Okay. Now you're going to go to the course that you're teaching this year that you want to copy the content into. So this is my current course for this year, ASM 2 you see it's 1718 and I have this course pinned. So this is my course that I'm teaching this year that I want to copy the content into. Okay, so now I'm in my current course. I go to my class, scroll down to edit course. On the course administration page, you're going to go to import, export, copy components and click on that. Okay, then it asks you what you would like to do. You're going to search for the offering. So this is searching for the course that you want to copy from. Okay, and in this area here, in the search for bar, you're going to paste in um, that course offering code that you copied from the other course, and you're going to um, add selected. If it's a secondary course or you know the course code, so say it's ASM 2O, I could just type in ASM 2O and it would bring me a list of courses. So I'm just going to show you what happens when I do that. It brings me the course that I'm looking for because I've only taught this course one other time. Um, if you've taught the course multiple years, um, you might have a long list of courses there. So in that case, um, it is easier to paste in that information you copied from the other course. Okay, you're going to select that and then we're going to hit Add Selected and you'll see this course coming up here. Okay, and we want to make sure that this is clicked off, include protective resources. Um, you're going to go down to the bottom here and you see you have a choice of copying all components and you're going to have a choice of selecting components. Um, and this will depend what you want to do. Um, you're going to click select components at this point, even if you want to copy all the content over, you click select components. Now a list of all the different components of the course will come up. So from this list, you're going to select which components you'd like to copy over. So you could select um, the calendar, so calendar items from your previous uh, course, which is not really all that relevant because this year's dates will be different than last year's dates. Um, but you could check out or click off any checklists that you have. Certainly the content. Um, now within each tool you also have the option to copy all items or copy individual items within the checklist. So let's say you had 10 checklists and you only wanted to copy one over, you would select individual items to copy and then select individual items. So for content, um, I want to copy all the content over or gain individual items. You want to make sure that this is checked off. You're going to include the associated files because you need the files for the content to display properly. And content display settings. Um, the course files, again, discussions, um, the Dropbox for assignment submissions. If you have grades set up, the grades and the grade settings. If you have well, groups, we're not going to set up groups right now. Um, if you have intelligent agents set up, we can talk about those in a different um, section. News items, again, you can copy news items from an old course over if you want to. Um, this year's news items um, might be different. 
although you can copy them over and um, edit them to make them applicable for this year. So let's do news as well. Um, question library for quizzes. Um, if there's any quizzes you have, you can copy those over. If there's release conditions. Any rubrics. Okay, the one I do not want you to copy over is course appearance because we have a new look to the courses this year. So please don't copy over top of that. If you do copy over top of that, you'll have to go back and change your home pages again. So please don't check up course appearances. And again, surveys, tool display names, um, and widgets we're going to leave off as for now as well. And then we're gonna click continue. It gives you a list of all the things that you'd like to. If you wanna go back and modify some, you can. And then we're going to finish. And then this will take a period of time. You see now I get a list here that says copying is in progress. And depending on when you're copying content over, it can take a bit of time. Um, if you're doing it at the beginning of the school year, um, late August or early September, or at the beginning of semester two, it tends to take a little bit more time because the system is very busy because people all over the province are copying content over at this point. Um, if that's the case, if, if this fails, you'll get a message here that says copying failed or something like that. Um, if that happens, I would suggest trying um, in the evening um, or early in the morning um, and the system will be less busy at that time. Um, but it is fairly reliable um, and uh, it's very rare that you would get an error in copying the content over. When the course copying is completed, you will see that you get the notice that says copy completed and the date and time and a little green check mark here indicating that it's completed. So at that point, you have a choice of copying content from another course over if you'd like, or you can view the content, or you can click on any of the links to go back to your course homepage or any of the course tools. So um, let's go back and look at our course homepage. Okay, we see that the class is still set up properly and we're going to go to the content and we see that the list of um, in the table of contents here the content copied over properly it's a good idea just to kind of spot check and make sure that the pages did actually copy over properly um, so that is how you copy content from a course that you have taught previously um, teachers only have the ability at this point to copy courses um, content from courses that they have taught previously. So if there's content that you would like copied from uh, an ELO course, um, one of the master courses from eLearning Ontario, or um, perhaps another teacher is sharing content with you, um, then we would need to do that for you. So if that's the case, then you would need to go to the TRA at your school um, or the admin at your school and ask them to submit um, an eBase work order for us to have that content copied over. Um, if you'd like to see the content that is available um, from eLearning Ontario, if you scroll down on the right-hand side of your course homepage, you'll see the course previewer. Um, you can see all public, these are secondary courses and all elementary courses that are available. And these are um, courses that have content written by eLearning Ontario that is available for you to copy into this platform only. Please understand that any content you see here cannot be copied over into Google Classroom or any other um, learning management system. We only have the rights to copy this content over into um, the core or the Brightspace learning pl platform.